Well, I've done quite a few movies on how to repoint chimneys and uh, tuck pointing and all that stuff, but I thought I'd show you all the tools I use here. One of the first things I use on a chimney is uh, that needs repointing is a grinder like this, and I'll go through the loose mortar with that first of all, and it can uh, it'll all come flying out. And then I use this type of grinder here with a wire wire brush on it to take off any veg vegetation or rough old patchwork that's on the chimney. And those two grinders seem to work really well. Uh, they disperse the material over the roof quite far, so it's impossible to tarp it off. So then what I use is a cordless leaf blower to clean that stuff up, or at least blow it off and disperse it even further. Uh, I don't know if there's any any problem with that, but whatever it is I do it, that's how I do it. And uh, it seems to be, it's a small amount of material, but it looks bad on the roof, so I just blow it around. Uh, here's the mortar mixing. We only need small batches of mortar, so I like to use this pail. And most of the brick chimneys around here are brown brick, so rather than making a pure white mortar, I'll, uh, I'll add some brown dye to it. And this is the perfect trowel to mix in a pail. Uh, it's a sort of a duckbill trowel. And you can use a bigger trowel if you want, but generally I use this to hold the mortar and this one to, to uh, use the use the back end of that to fill in the up and down joints, the perpendicular joints. Now when it comes to filling in the bed joints, there's a variety of sizes of trowel here. Tucking trowel all the way from, I'm not sure what that one is, but quarter inch I guess. And then that one's probably 5 sixteenths, 3 eighths, and a half. I don't know if that's a little bigger or not. And if I'm doing stonework or something with really big joints, then I use something like that. If I want to have a round convex joint on it, I'll, or a concave joint, I'll use a convex jointer. And the brush is to brush off everything at the end of it and clean everything up. Of course, I use a drop sheet on the roof. Uh, to catch the wet mortar and I use this special mix mortar I don't bother with sand and and masonry cement anymore very often so I use this um, pre-mix mortar and it's called the steels specialty mortar anyway that's that's the one I'm using now uh, also a couple other things I use is to moisten the joints I use uh, some water in a spray bottle like that and those are the tools we need to make a, make a chimney repointing job. At the end of it, rather than sweeping the roof off, I find that my leaf blower does the better job again because uh, sweeping it if you happen to get a little bit of wet mortar crumbs on the roof when you sweep it, it pushes it into the shingle, whereas this one sort of lifts it off the shingle. Much better, much better way of doing it. So, that's repointing tools. I'm sure everybody's got their own specialties, but those are the basics. The important one is to have the right size of, of a flat jointer or tucking like a trowel, I, I call them, and that, that tucks the mortar. Make sure the mortar gets way back into the into the joint. If you have a too big a one, it won't push the mortar in far enough, and you've got some problems with that. So I hope that's helpful. That's, uh, you know, I've been doing this for years, and I never really shared all those tools. So that's cool. Here's a few more tools in case you're in an area where you don't want to make dust or uh, 
just have a small job to do. This is called a plugging chisel and it's for taking the mortar out of brick joints and this is a brick hammer so with those two you can get the mortar out and you can also brush it off by hand assuming you don't want to use the power tools. We always use cordless tools on the roof because having cords up there is a real problem because if you step on them they tend to roll and that gives you that jerky motion on your back which doesn't do very well. One more thing on the cordless tools is that up to now cordless tools weren't all that good. The batteries didn't last very long but I've been able to do quite large chimneys on a single charge with both of these Ryobi, tool, Ryobi and uh, Rigid tools with the lithium-ion 18 volt batteries. These are the larger batteries, they last longer. And the leaf blower is, is a fantastic item. It cleans the chimney out of the mortar, loose mortar, it blows it right off of it and cleans up the roof totally. Saves a ton of time. I also use it on the sidewalks here. I can get this whole front blown off on one charge easily. And uh, it's, a, it's one of the best tools I've ever bought. And I bought it basically because I wanted the, the weed eater that came with it. I thought I'd never use this. I thought it would be useless, but it's not. It's perfect. And going on the roof with it is really good because no cord.